It's a good team, unorthodox, one day prep. It's difficult to play against those guys. They they're, remind me a lot of teams in our league. They're solid, well coached. All their guys can shoot it. Um, we knew against their zone it, um, that it was going to be a good cha- it was a real challenge for us. It may take us some time to ease into the game, particularly with Maine out, because Maine plays at high post really well. And so with him out, we had to have some guys who would challenge these guys to step up there and make up for his rebounding as well. And you saw Jaden Campbell and A.J. right here really did that. Uh, Jaden had maybe a career-high rebound with seven. A.J. listed as five. I thought he had a little bit more than that. But I thought that was, that was great. There was a moment there. We spaced it out as a game of runs. They came back, and it was a tie game or a one-point game. They're inbounding the ball underneath. And I pulled our guys up, and I said, All right, this is where you can show if you're really a champion. Like everybody can play like a champion and be a champion when you're up by 10 or 15 or 20. But now when you can kind of feel the tension in there, you can feel it. Like it came all the way back. They had the momentum. It's a one-point game right there. How can we respond? Do we have that champion in us that we can turn this around and not be afraid to go win a game? And um, you saw that. We spaced it right back up to 10-11 with guys making big shots, coming down with big rebounds, making big free throws. So that was really great to see particularly without Jermaine, who's kind of been the heart of a lot of those comebacks or when those games are tight, everybody looks at Jermaine. So overall, I was really proud of that win. I was proud of the way our guys played. Is it nice to have, I mentioned this post game, that you know end of season push towards conference tournament energy that a lot of people kind of felt tonight against this game against Mary Mack. Is it beneficial to kind of have this early in the season? Yeah, you know, whenever you, you play close games, we hadn't had a lot of them here. We were up at VCU. I felt at VCU we were up there, and we didn't have that, all right, let's, let's go win this game. We're looking around for someone else to go win the game. And in, in conference play, as you all know, those games are one, two, or three points. And we went 15-3 and three in the league last year, mainly because we were able in those moments where it was tight right there at the four-minute media or six-minute, guys stepped up and um, got, we executed. And that's kind of gone in the past two years. We won a lot of close games there. And so, um, you know, that, that's, that, that's the difference between winning 20 games or winning 12. Because you're, all, you're, you're winning eight. You're going to be all in these games that are that close. But at the end of the day, you know, they're going to look at that deal. And when you're playing for a conference championship, they don't list how many points you win by. They just say, hey, what did you see? What's your seed based on, based on your record? Mm-hmm. So you can be the best team in the world and not be able to win close games. You're going to be in trouble. And, and that's why I was glad to see our guys do that today. Is it from your perspective to win a game when you have 19 turnovers? Yeah, it, it, it's really good because you're going to have to win ugly sometimes. Now, the other part of that is we turned them over a good bit as well. We turned, we, we turned them over 16 times to negate some of that, which was good. Um, but a lot of times when it's ugly, players that don't have much resiliency, players who are selfish, they get so consumed with their play and their turnovers and how they look. And that's the sign of a team that can't win. A team that can win is, t- is a team that when it's going bad and they missing, they're missing shots, they're not making plays they normally make, they turn the ball over and it feels like a spotlight's on them because it's a poor play. A team that's unselfish and a player that's unselfish is going to just bounce right off of that and say, i got to stop these guys now. We've got to find a way to stop these guys and not be so consumed with the way it looked in that moment for themselves. And that's where you see true teams that are championship caliber teams persevere. And so that was great to see by our guys. You didn't see these guys after these turnovers sit down there, look at the ground, woe was me, go give up points. We came right back at them on defense, so that was good. Can you talk about how selfless Steve is uh, sharing the basketball game? Yeah. More, than, more than half your field goal has been over assisted. Yeah, good, good, good question. We, we, we talked before the year. Now, this team may not have some of the individual playmaking, even though we've got great playmakers. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know, Quez and Die from last year, they were more ISO players. Th- their strength was that. Um, they're, 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 because of that, we, we played a certain way because of that. Their strength was not going to be, hey, making the hockey assist to one more to the one more. They were, they were just going to, they were great bucket getters. This is, since I've been here, the best passing team that we've had. And um, when you have that, you're going to be very hard to stop. Some of the best teams I've ever coached were more this way than the other way. Because what can happen is when you do have an injury and you are committed to those key players, and if one of them goes down, it's challenging. It's very challenging. You know, we went through it last year. We had an injury or two injuries right there, and we went on a losing streak until we figured it out. I don't think you're going to see this team struggle as much 
as years pass because of an injury, right? Because we're not playing around just isolation. Even Jermaine this year is, a great, is becoming a better and better passer. So our guys, when he went in the lineup, they were able to adapt and figure it out. And that was good to see.